survive long without medical attention. The hyperdrive is damaged. Main power must be restored in order to bring the engines online and dock with the nearby Paragus mining station for much needed repairs. Your fate and that of the Ebon Hawk depend upon T3M4, a lone astromech droid. Return to this location at any time to skip the prologue. Press W A S D to move T three M four and turn. Press caps lock to toggle first person free look. Hold control to look about. This is the galaxy map. It shows you are near Paragus, a mining colony. When the hyperdrive is fixed, you can use the galaxy map to choose a destination planet.
your condition. Success! You are stabilized. To recover fully, you will require the medical facilities at the Paragus Mining Station. But you are not in any danger of dying from your wounds right now. This lift will take you to the outer hull of the Ebon Hawk, where you will find many parts and mines to use for accessing and repairing the hyperdrive. This is the cargo hull. Talking to other characters is much like using the computer console in the cockpit. Scroll through your response options or move the mouse cursor, and then click to select a response. Note that some responses may influence how other characters react to you, so choose carefully. Furthermore, certain skills, powers, and attributes may modify what choices you have, or how successful you are with those choices. 3 CFD is malfunctioning. You can fix him by using a part. Luckily, you have already found one. If you repair 3 CFD, he can join your party and assist you in repairing the ship. Success! You have fixed 3 CFD. Now he will join your party. Later, when you have more companions, you can 
Add and remove party members from the party screen in the game menu. Use the keycard you found to open the locker. The impact armor from this locker can be equipped on the equip screen. To open the equip screen, click on the blaster icon in the top right area. override it from here. Success! The door is opened. You can now access the starboard dormitory through the garage. This busted engine port has some needed parts for the Evan Hawks hyperdrive. Take the parts here back down below. Don't forget to explore the other side of the Evan Hawk. The bubbles ahead indicate mines that you've detected automatically with your awareness skill. Some mines require higher awareness to detect. Approach mines carefully. They will blow up and damage you if you get too close. You can use your demolition skill to either disable or recover these mines. Recovering mines requires a higher demolition skill than disabling them but you get to keep the mine, which you can then use to set as a trap for enemies or break down into components at a workbench. You can use repair kits to heal droids like yourself. To use a repair kit, Click on the repair kit on the bottom of the screen. This is the Starboard Dormitory. You found a droid flamethrower. This is the main hole. The hyperdrive is suffering badly. You won't be able to make the jump to light speed until it is fully repaired and you do not have the needed equipment here on the Ebon Hawk. However, you should be able to rig the hyperdrive to restore primary power and bring the port engine online. This will allow you to dock with the Paragus mining station for full repairs. Success! The hyperdrive is online. Primary power is restored. You can now plot a course to the Paragus mining station. show the door to the storage compartment is being sliced. There is someone, or something, else alive on the Ebon Hawk. 